Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, you know what? I just have to comment that yesterday was amazing. We, we had tons of baptisms down at the lake, and I love seeing life change. I just want to thank you for supporting the ministry of life change that is Calvary and Havasu and Parker and points to the end of the earth. So uh, I, I'm just excited about what God is doing and what he's going to do in the life of our church. Hey, today we're in Genesis 13. We're talking about Abraham and Lot. And now Abraham uh, and Lot were related and they both were really prosperous. God was blessing them. And their herds of sheep and cattle and things got to be so big that their employees were, were arguing with each other about who got what space. So Abraham said, hey, we need to divide up so we can both continue to grow in our, in our business and in our life. And, uh, and so he actually said to Lot, you decide where you want to go. You pick the land that you want and I'll take what's left over. And so Lot looked at the land and he picked the valley that he thought was the greenest, that was the most watered, that was the, the best area. And he took his herds there and Abraham went to the other side and took what is now modern day Israel. And, and here's the thing, Abraham allowed uh, Lot to choose the best land and he trusted God to bless him. Let me say that again. Abraham allowed Lot to choose the best land and Abraham trusted God to bless him. See, and, and by the way, God is still blessing Abraham and he's blessing Abraham through all of us and he's blessed us through Abraham. And, and so I want to just challenge you with this one simple but difficult thought today. Trust God to bless you and stop trying to bless yourself. Okay? Trust God that he's going to bless you and you stop trying to bless yourself because our world is fixated on trying to bless itself. Uh, you know, hey, I've got to bless myself with money. I need more possessions. I want to have these accomplishments and recognition. I want fame. I want status. I've got to pursue this for me. Look, that's how the world thinks. That's not how the people of God think. In fact, it is stated uh, unequivocally in Scripture multiple times. Uh, the one I'm most fond of is written by the Apostle Peter, 1 Peter chapter 5, where he says, Humble yourselves under God's mighty hand, and at the proper time, He will exalt you. Humble yourself under God's mighty hand, and when God is ready, God will lift you up. And at the same time, it says God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Do you realize that if you're trying to exalt yourself, then God is in opposition to you because you're operating in pride? But if you are humbling yourself under God's mighty hand, then he's going to lift you up. So what I want to challenge you to do is if today you'll focus on promoting Jesus instead of promoting yourself, then God will lift you up. But it can't just be for one day. It's got to be day after day after day. So obey Jesus and trust God to bless you, because I guarantee you this, God will bless you better than you could ever bless yourself. I hope that helps, and I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.